most wonderful soup today. You all in part of our manners that we've been studying, uh, we spend more time eating with our family in a family environment rather than eating formally. And many of our families nowadays eat out almost as much as we eat at home. But table manners are important whether you're eating at home or you're eating out. And a couple of things I would just like to remind you of as we are in a family situation, whether or not you're at home or whether you're in a fast food restaurant, uh, you want to get your napkin in your lap. And if you are at home, it's ask your mom if you can set the table. The thing to remember always, mostly when we're in a family setting, we have a knife, a fork, and a spoon. The fork always goes on the left. The knife goes next to the plate on the right, and the spoon is next to that. And our beverage, our tea or water or milk, is at the tip of the knife. And uh, set the table for your mom and your dad because everybody's busy today, everybody's working. Uh, so we as, we as 4-H'ers and family members need to be a part of that. One of the things to remember when you are eating in a family style is to try to relax and enjoy yourself. And it's not the place to bring all of the arguments. But when we start to pass food, uh, try to remember if you can that whoever starts the food first, if they pass it to the right and then you pick up food and you're going to pass it if your mom or your dad says, would you pass the potatoes, Johnny? Then you be sure that you pass that food the same direction as we've passed the other food. If we don't, what happens is somebody at the table is going to be sitting there like this and they're going to have a, a bowl of food or a plate in each hand and they're not going to be able to serve themselves. So try to remember uh, serve it all to the same direction if you can. Pay attention to your parents. Keep your elbows off the table. We don't do elbows. We call that elbow alert. Uh, deal with your napkin in a proper way. We like to say with a napkin that you're going to be dabbers. You're not going to be swipers and wipe like this. Uh, napkins are not to be used as a handkerchief. And when you finish with your napkin, do not wad it up and put it in your plate. Uh, when you finish with your napkin, even if it's a paper napkin or like at my house, a paper towel most of the meals, kind of put it like this and just set it up on the table, which means that you are finished with your meal. Try to have good conversation with your family and enjoy your family meals and the setting that you're in. To learn more about this and other topics, contact your county extension agent and visit uaex.edu.